Hi folks, this is Shefik. Today we are going to talk about normalization in a modern facial recognition pipeline. Face detection is an early stage of a modern facial recognition pipeline. In this way, we can focus the facial area of images. However, face detection algorithms extract faces in a rectangle area. So it still stores some noise information such as background colors. We can get rid of any noise information with facial landmark detection. This stage is also called normalization in facial recognition. You can find out more on this URL and I'm going to share this link in the description of the video. In this video, we are going to find facial landmarks with DLIP library and we are also going to extract just facial information as shown this illustration. But before we begin, Please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your all support in advance. This study requires DLIP dependency. That's why I'm going to import the library first. Let's import DLIP command. The version of the library I'm currently using as 19, 21 and 1. If you haven't installed the library yet, you should run pip install delip command and you should also mention that's version to have my version as well 19 21 and 1 we are going to need two different modules of delip and one is its frontal face detector we can build it as delip dot get frontal face detector the second is landmark detector we can build it as delip dot shape predictor even though face detector is an out of the box model of delip landmark detector is not we have to download it from this url and also unzip it then in its input argument we should pass this shape predictor those blocks are for pre-trained models of delip then let's import the image image path is going to be deep face slash test slash dataset slash image one dot jpeg that's the unit test item of deep face library and our image is going to be the dot load rgb image and pass image path as input let's show this loaded image we need to import matplotlib matplotlib dot pipe load as plt and here i'm going to call plt dot im show and show this image now i'm going to feed this input image to the face detector then it's going to extract the faces face detector fit input image and set the precision value to one and this is going to return the faces and let's check how many faces existing in this image length of the faces is one and also let's check the content of faces here this is actually the coordinates of the detected face area there is just one face in this image that's why i'm going to set the face variable to the zero index of the faces in other words get its first item and this is my uh, detected face area once we have the face we are going to call this landmark detector and pass image itself and detected face and it's going to be our landmarks Delip actually finds 68 different facial landmark points as shown in this image that's why here i'm going to build a for loop for i in range from 0 to 68 and in this for loop we are going to access each landmark point landmarks dot call it 
part command and pass i as input and get its x coordinate value and it's going to be x similarly we are going to get its y coordinate value as well i'm going to store those x and y coordinate values in a list named landmarks dash tuple and its initial value is going to be a empty python list and here i'm going to append x and y values as tuple and also i want to shove those landmark points in the base image that's why i'm going to remove those printing lines first and here i'm going to create a base image and it's going to copy the content of the image we are going to process this image with OpenCV. that's why i'm going to import cv2 dependency and here i'm going to call opencv dot circle and here pass this base image as input image as a center value i'm going to pass x and y coordinates here then the radius value is going to be to the fourth input argument value is going to be the color and i'm going to set it to 255 for its three channels to have a white color and finally thickness is going to be minus one let's show this base image here p at the dot im show and pass base image as input landmark points cannot be shown here because uh, it plots this image very uh, small let's increase the size p at the dot figure and set figure size to for example 20 and 20 to extract the outer area of the facial image i need to visit the facial landmark points from 17 to 1 then jump to the 18 to 22 then jump to 23 to 27 let's visit those landmark points as mentioned from 17 actually 16 because the index value begins from zero decrease one by one until it's going to be one for i in this range values and print these values here it's going to visit point 16 to zero the point 17 to one in this picture when i arrive to the point one then i jump to the point 18 that's why i'm going to add a new list here and here for i in range from 18 actually 17 because of the index value to 26 those are the roots i'm going to visit in this facial image actually this should be plus one because we missed the point 26 here and this is going to be the roots i'm going to build a for loop for i in range from zero to length of the roots minus one because i want to access the source point to the target point but minus one should be here source point is going to be get roots i index value and the target point is going to be get the i plus one index value of the roots array i'm going to get the source coordinate and remember that coordinates are stored in landmarks tuple variable get source point index value 
for the source coordinate and for the target coordinate get landmarks tapas race target point index value let's copy the base image to the base image variable here because I'm going to modify it with those source and target coordinates once we get the source and target coordinates then we are going to call opencv.line and pass base image as input image and point one is going to be source coordinate and the second one is target coordinate and set color to 55 for three channels to have white color and finally set line type to 2 and let and let's uh, show this page in this image as well it attracts the outer area of the facial image but one point is missing I'm going to connect the point 27 to 17 here that's why I'm going to add point 16 here and it attracts the outer area of the face now here roots variables stores the point index values I actually need to store the root coordinates as well that initial value is going to be empty python list and here I'm going to append the source point append the source coordinate to the root coordinates and let's check it here let's apply it here how we at the first point uh, as the last point we should append the first point coordinates to the roots get at zero index values and let's check roots coordinates as well it jumps from the last point to the first point as well i'm going to need numpy dependency that's why i'm going to import numpy here and let's jump to the last line here i'm going to create a mask variable and it's going to be numpy.zeros and uh, we are going to pass the input shape of the base image here as tuple let's check the shape of the mask variable we are going to call open series fill convex poly function for this function we are going to pass mask itself as input image and as points we are going to pass roots coordinates but it should be numpy array and as third argument we are going to set color to one finally we are going to set the data type of the mask variable mask dot as type and numpy dot boolean now we are going to create a another variable named out at numpy dot zeros like and pass image as input here and here out mask index values is going to be base images mask index values now we are able to plot the out variable here let's call this it's almost done but i want to show this array as well to show it i'm going to jump from 20 to 25 point here we are going to jump from
sorry, 24 to 26. And let's call the following lines as well. Now it has a better shape. We have mentioned how to find facial landmark points with DLIP. DLIP can find 68 different facial landmarks and we use its outer facial landmark points to extract outer area of the face. In that way, we can apply normalization in face recognition studies. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.